Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to cover out finishing up the, uh, or actually doing the uh, bed for the desktop CNC. So what I did, and I'll put uh, some of the stuff up in the corner, some of the time lapses. So what I did is I cut the bed out of 3mm acrylic on the 3040 CNC, uh, and I tapped the holes. I put these, I believe, on 25mm centers and I tapped them for a number 10 and because I had these uh, larger black threaded thumb screws I had a bunch of them they're nylon and then I've got a bunch of these I think they're number sixes or eights I can't remember um, standoffs and, and so I tapped the bracket and I cut the brackets because I wanted a more resilient out of five millimeter acrylic now the one thing I wish I would have done the bed out of five millimeter acrylic also, but I didn't have enough. I've got a ton of this three millimeter. It it works. It's okay, uh, but five millimeter would be better. So if you're going to do this, um, I definitely recommend five millimeter for this. The great thing is, look at the size. Now now the original bed is only as wide as my fingers here, and only as wide as this piece right here underneath. So this has really extended the bed and, and I could have actually gone a little bit bigger. So I can get almost all the way from here to here and then from about in here to in here. So uh, I can easily get about 100 to 150 millimeter uh, cut area. Uh, so this really has worked out nice and extended the operating size of this. Uh, so this whole uh, bed situation has worked out really good. So, and, and again, if you don't have another larger CNC machine, you can actually build something like this yourself. Just get a piece of, um, uh, you know, acrylic or uh, what have you from eBay or Home Improvement Store, and just lay it out with a hand drill, drill it out, and then tap it with a set of taps. You can get it at Harbor Freight on the cheap, uh, and do the very same thing. So uh, you could also do this out of wood too. It doesn't have to be acrylic. I just simply like the look. Uh, so I did it in acrylic and it came out pretty good uh, and again I did these a little bit beefy you could use regular screws rather than the thumb screws and just use a screwdriver and nut driver or something to tighten them down again I had these on hand uh, for another project I did a few years ago I bought it had to buy a few hundred of them at a time from McMaster car so I just simply went with what I had and so obviously these um, you know screw into the bed and then I can adjust it this way and then this um, other I think they're number eights uh, allow me to offset the the bed so I can cantilever so now the this has a sort of a sacrificial piece under it and then the actual cut on on the top so it's a little bit tall but uh, anyways this works out and, and probably what I will do is cut some spacer material to fit underneath these to adjust it for various heights because as you notice on the number 10 I've got a lot of uh, leeway uh, to go on that so that works out pretty good so all in all I've been pretty happy with this uh, desktop CNC if you will so it's performed very well very quiet as I showed in some of the other videos uh, one of the things I am working on doing is mounting a laser uh, developing and 3d printing a laser bracket to go on here for a laser diode and I'm going to you know try some stuff with engraving because again, one of the things goals I'm trying to get at is sort of build sort of a utility um, device, you know, that the that the homemaker can use um, with regards to you know Etsy or other crafting type operations. So, uh, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe button over there, uh, swag shop up there, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe. To the channel.